Hi, my name is Dr. Tim Pham. I'm a cardiac surgeon at the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute of Northwestern Medicine. Today, we'll be performing a heart transplant in a patient who, despite a lot of medical therapy, he's developed end-stage heart failure, and today, we've been lucky to find a heart for him. So please join me in the operating room as we perform a heart transplant using a transmatic organ care system. Right now, the anesthesia team is getting our patient ready by putting him to sleep. And behind the scenes at the other hospital, my partner, Ben Briner, is picking up his new heart. In the past, the typical way of transporting a donor heart would be the use of a simple cooler system on ice. The new transmetic organ care system allows us to take the heart out of the donor body, then reanimate it, allowing it to receive oxygen and nutrition while we bring it back here to our hospital and it also has allowed our team to transport the heart longer distances and for longer periods of time. With the old cooler system, we typically would have about four to six hours from removal of the heart from the donor and then putting it back into our recipient. With this new system, we can go as long as 12 to 24 hours. So I just got this video from Dr. Briner, who's already connected to the transmetic organ care system, receiving blood through that pump. You can see it beating vigorously already. Looks like a great heart. Hey, Ben. We're, we're at the airport. We'll leave it about 12 minutes. All right, sounds good. Safe travels. All right. Thanks. To so limit the amount of time that that heart's outside of the body. There are a lot of touch points from not just evaluating the heart, but then when the heart comes out of the donor body, when the team is leaving the donor hospital, uh, when they're taking off. And so each step of the way, I'm timing what we are doing here so that we are primed and ready for when the team arrives with the new heart. So while we're waiting for the team to come back with the new heart, I'll be getting started on our end. That'll consist of forming an incision through the sternum and then getting the patient ready by connecting him to the heart-lung machine. When we know that the team is back safely here at Northwestern, we will then be able to start cutting out the old sick heart. I'm just marking the incision here just to orient you. Once again, the patient's head is over here to my left. Knife, please. Thank you. Starting incision. So where I'm about to saw through the, the sternum with this saw here, it's a just like a power tool, an oscillating saw. Lungs down. And now the sternum, the breastbone has been divided. So our patient, he has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy which is a thickening of the muscle of the heart. His heart doesn't relax and open up well. And so the amount of blood that it fills with is limited. So even though his heart beats fine, it doesn't eject enough blood flow to satisfy the demands of the rest of his body. He was sick enough that he required to be in the hospital and he also needed the assistance of the intraaortic balloon pump. It's a device that actually sits inside his aorta and it helps decrease the pressure the heart has to beat against. When somebody requires a pump like that while they're on their transplant list, they're given what's called status two, which is the second highest priority for patients waiting for a heart transplant. Typically, those are patients who we are concerned that without a heart, their life expectancy may not be much more than a, a couple of months. Hey, it's Briner. We just landed at Midway. Hey, they landed. All right, so Dr. Briner and the procurement team should be coming into the OR pretty soon. And our timing is just right. So we're cutting out the left atrium, the back, to the last chamber of the heart. So here's his old heart. I'm gonna send that off to the pathology lab. Hello. Hey, how are ya? Perfect timing. We just, we just took out the old heart. So the heart looks really good on this device. It's pumping really nicely. Okay, so now we're gonna cool the heart down and re-arrest it so that it's ready to get sewn into the recipient. During transport, it was reanimated, so it needed warm blood. But to re-arrest it, we have to cool it so it decreases the metabolic demand. And then we're giving it a 
a solution that will stop it from functioning. And then once that happens, we'll disconnect it, bring it to the back table, do some final prep, and then start implanting it. As I'm putting these hearts in, I'm looking at the size of the, the recipient vessels, right? Sometimes they are a lot larger than the donor vessels. So I have to correct any size mismatch so that way there's no narrowing once we're done. I wish it could be as easy as plug and play, <laughs> but uh, these aren't uh, custom made for each other. We have to make this work. Scissors, please. That'll line up okay there. Hold this here, Shroha. Let's cut this a little bit shorter. We're on to our last one. All right. So we're done with the last suture line. We're about to take the clamp off. And when we do that, the heart's gonna start seeing blood again. But before that, we're gonna nudge it along by giving it a little bit of warm blood, uh, what we call hot shot, because the heart has been somewhat cold and we don't want to shock the ship too much by suddenly giving it warm blood. High power push. This heart just gave a little twitch, even that small little bit of warm blood. That means that the heart's already starting to wake up. All right, we're gonna take off the clamp here and now the, the heart is gonna see the same blood that the rest of the body has been seeing throughout this case. And I see the heart start beating on its own. It's a good sign that that heart's you know, coming up to life, it's happy. It, especially when it, when it happens almost immediately. I'm pretty certain at that point that this heart is gonna do really well. I just got a good look at how well that heart's squeezing with just a little bit of volume in it, and I'm pretty happy with it. We're gonna start weaning the heart lung machine. The function looks great. Um, I'm gonna go and uh, give the family a call. Hi, it's Dr. Pham. I wanted to give you the good news. We finished with the heart transplant. He, we got a great heart for him. It's pumping really nicely. It's pumping on all its own. So we're off the heart lung machine. I'm super happy with the way things look. We're gonna take another hour or so to, and then we'll be getting him to the intensive care unit. We're off to a great start. You can get your rest and I'll see you later today. All right, take care, bye-bye. Thank you for joining us in the operating room today. The team here worked hard for the last couple of days coordinating this transplant. Dr. Breiner and the procurement team traveled a good distance and brought us back a good heart. It's working great. The patient's doing well. I anticipate one or two weeks here in the hospital and then he'll be going home to his family. Thank you for joining us in the operating room.